On behalf of WCVH, this is CV Today. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 3rd, cycle day one. Now over to Addison with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, No winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn, by Hal Borland. Tomorrow's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 30. Today's lunch is chicken fajita with a hot combo of meatball sandwich. And tomorrow's lunch is pizza sticks with no hot combo. Happy birthday, Colin. Regulators in the U.S. want a nationwide recall, but the manufacturer of faulty airbags has so far refused. Physically, uh, Takata might not be able to meet that requirement, partly because Takata doesn't really have enough capacity at this point. When the flawed airbags expand, the metal encased inflator can burst, sending shrapnel into the driver or ripping a hole in the airbag. The deaths of at least four drivers in the U.S. and the injuries of several others are believed to be linked to the problem. Japan-based auto parts supplier Takata has recalled millions of airbags in the United States, but only in areas of high humidity, such as Florida, where the defect seems to be more problematic. The company says it's focusing its resources. They have to have kind of priority, so to speak, by, by area, which area they should first uh, you know, recall uh, their, their airbags. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration issued this statement Tuesday night. Takata shares responsibility for keeping drivers safe, and we believe anything short of a national recall does not live up to that responsibility. Attention sophomores and juniors, if you are planning to attend the CTC next year, you must complete an application. Applications are available in the guidance office. Please see Mrs. McDaniel for a copy. Applications will be due by January 21st. Now over to an announcement from choir. Hi guys, I'm Celine Shell and I'm president of Women's Choir. And hi, my name is Drew Okonski and I'm president of the Concert Choir. Uh, we're here to tell you that um, this year at lunches we're going to be selling bells. We're selling them Thursday, Friday, and then all of next week. Um, these are going to be hung up in the auditorium. Uh, we're selling them. They're a dollar each, and we're selling them to support uh, CVCCS. They, they help the people in our community that, uh, that really need it most. So if you can, they're a dollar a piece, and please come out and buy them to uh, you know, support the choir and the CVCCS. And now I know at this time of year there's a lot of clubs and sports that are having donations and fundraisers. But if everyone could just buy one bell at a dollar each, we could raise over $700 for our fellow community. So please consider donating, and thanks, and have a wonderful Wednesday. Come out and support the girls' basketball team at Chick-fil-A. Visit Chick-fil-A anytime from now until 10 p.m. December 6, and 15% of your bill will be donated to the CV girls' basketball team. Attention seniors, the deadline for ads for grads has been extended until December 10th. Please let your parents know that they can still order an ad for grad for this year's yearbook until next Wednesday, December 10th. Now over to an announcement from Mr. Cap. Good morning, this is Mr. Capalupo representing the guidance office here at Conestoga Valley. We got new furniture in the guidance office, so please come down and see our new setup there. It looks fantastic. But I'm here to remind seniors, you should have applied to college by now. We're going to change our attention to scholarships at this point. Please visit our guidance website or stop down to the guidance office to look at the scholarships that we have in our scholarship bin. And we should talk a little bit about the FAFSA form. Really, that form should be completed by Valentine's Day. You can't really start that until mid-January when your parents get all their tax return information. And that's that's the next step in this process. If you have any questions, any concerns, please come down and see your counselor. Have your parents call us and we can help you through that. But our attention should be shifting to financial aid at this point. Now, another announcement. The Philadelphia Eagles defeated the Dallas Cowboys, as I predicted. And I'd like to introduce a new friend I have here. This is Peyton Chadwick. Peyton came up to me in the hallway and said, Cap, if the Cowboys beat the Eagles, will you wear a Cowboys jersey? And I said, sure, because I knew it wasn't going to happen. Isn't that right, Peyton? Sure. He admits it. But he's a good sport, and he's wearing my Eagles jersey today. So do Mr. Cap a favor. When you see Peyton in the hallway, say, 
How about those Eagles? Now, in Philly, we would say, how about them Eagles? But we're keeping it grammatically correct here at Conestoga Valley. We're going to go with, how about them Eagles? When you see my buddy Peyton, please say that for me. I appreciate it. Peyton, do you have anything to say? No. He's speechless because he knows. He knows that the Philadelphia Eagles are going all the way, just as I predicted. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day at CV. Seniors, do you have a freshman sibling? If so, the yearbook needs your freshman senior photos. Freshman senior siblings' photos are due for the yearbook by Friday, December 12th. They can be emailed to Mrs. Fake at katie underscore fake at constagavalley.org or dropped off in room 107. See Mrs. Fake for more information or for any questions regarding senior yearbook submissions. Now over to an announcement about Penny Wars. Hey CV, I'm Tyler here to talk to you about Penny Wars today. So seniors, listen up, put your phones down. Um, we're last place in the Penny Wars standings. There's no way to sugarcoat that. It's unacceptable, um, you know, but we're within reach. We can come back. There's a couple more days left. And, you know, I know a lot of you are sitting there saying right now, well, you know, who cares if we win Penny Wars? It's not that big a deal. It's just a movie that we win. Well, you're right. It's just a movie. But Penny Wars is about more than a movie. You know, NHS does such a great job of putting on Shop with the Buck skin where they go out and, you know, they really make a Christmas special for so many younger kids within our district. Um, and you know that's something that's so special that they've continued with great success for several years so we need to keep that going also you know it's about pride we're the senior class seniors win penny wars every year it doesn't matter if it's just a movie you know we gotta win we gotta beat the underclassmen so come on there's a couple days left get the pennies in start donating we're gonna win alright back to the anchors Attention to any student who took the PSAT exam at Conestoga Valley High School. The results are in. Please stop down to the guidance office to pick up your test results and test booklet. And please see your school counselor with any questions. Now over to today's sports. There's a way junior high boys basketball game against Hemfield at 4. There's a home junior high wrestling scrimmage against Penn Manor and Slanko at 4. There's a home junior high girls basketball game against Hemfield at 4. Now we're to sports highlights. It's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Mom's cooking two from three. I'm not sure the coaching staff wanted to see that shot. Davis attacking the rim. He's fouled by Durant. Away with a stop. Durant crosses over. Gets a screen from Adams and packs it. I don't think we're. Well, the Mints did their part. And then Evans loses Lamb. Timeout, Oklahoma City. Seven turnovers in this quarter already. Make it eight. Over the top, Davis. Tip pass back to Evans and one. Look, look, look. They get it into Jefferson. He hands. Ellis is grabbed and fouled. He's going to get three shots. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Put Joe in there to rebound. Ellis in the air, and he ties the game at 108 for Butler. Butler circles. Butler back outside. Rose fires. Big time players make big time plays. Seven to shoot. Monte Ellis, long three. Got him. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. He wow. gives the. He's going to move. Back outside. Derek, pump fake. Fire short. And it's out of bounds with point one left. That's all. Uh, <laughs> that's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Ben. Alongside Morgan. And this is CV Today. Have a wheezy Wednesday. <laughs>